What's up guys, today I'm working on my Fusion again and I'm going to be installing a feature that was available on Titaniums as an option. Um, I have an SE and we're gonna add this feature to my car. So let me show you what I'm doing. So inside my Fusion here, everything looks pretty standard except I now have a new mirror. Now I got this mirror out of a car in the junkyard, it was a Fusion Titanium and it has the Lane Keep Assist camera right here. So that's what I am retrofitting. I already had the glass replaced and that was finished today. I'll show you some footage of that, but now we're gonna go ahead and finish doing the rest of the installation here and I'll show you how to do it, hopefully. Starting out, you have to remove the glove box, which in order to do that, you have four of these, they are seven millimeter bolts or screws. So one here, here, and then there's two of them hidden up here. So in order to access these, you have to grab this panel and pull it off. So then there's two more here, and you might need to remove this clip here on the side, pull this little panel off. Again, it just pulls off just like that. Um, and then your glove box will be able to be pulled straight out. The reason we need to do that is to fully remove the glove box, you'll also have to unplug this little connector. But here in the back is a connector that we need right here. Now I hope this is showing up, but it's a big black connector right here. And this is part of the harness that runs all the way up through the A pillar and then over to the mirror. So we have to replace this with a new harness for a car that came with lane keep assist. So let me do that. Before I go too much farther, I wanna go ahead and show, this is the connector here in the bottom um, that's like this. So this is part of the mirror harness and it's a long cable that goes all the way up into the ceiling of the car. And then we have two connectors on the other end that will be behind the mirror. So gotta run this and then I'll get back with you. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start removing this trim here. I also need to pull the visor down as well as the center console piece in order to have enough slack here in the headliner to get that wire run. Um, so let me go ahead and do that. This here should just be clipped in, I believe, so we will try and get this off. So I wanna go ahead and show this special clip up here on the visor right here. So in order to get this guy out, you have to pinch it together and pull it down. Um, I used a little pick and I was able to get it out just a little bit enough to then hold, like rotate this out. So that's all it takes to get this off. And then this connector, you just have to push right here um, there'll be a little tab sticking through from the car and this comes off. Okay, so I was able to get the harness down. Now, I wasn't super worried about trying to salvage this or anything, and not that it's damaged or anything like that, but it did come out of the um, wire loom. What I ended up having to do was I got the clip on this. On the inside, there's a little clip, but I didn't actually remove this all the way. After having the um, visor and the uh, hand rest here or the handle removed which was the same size Torx bits I was able to just kind of reach up inside the sunglass holder here and pull down and it pulled it off of the clips up inside so I had enough slack here to actually just pull onto the 
wire and since it's glued to the top of the headliner, it's just kind of a pain to get it off. But I do have it out. Now I need to finish unhooking it here. It was on these little tabs going down the A pillar and then I need to just fish it out plug in my new harness that I showed you already and just do the opposite, run it back up through here and come out through the headliner. So let me do that and we will continue. step takes place here on the driver's side. I'm going to have to replace this left turn signal stock with this one here that actually has the lane keep assist um, button here on the end. So this is the button that will be used to activate it. And then I also have to replace the wipers here, the stock for them, with ones that support the automatic wipers. So that's what I've got here. This came out of the same car that the mirror came out of, and then I had to order this one because someone else had already swiped the lane keep assist switch. So let's go ahead and do that. We have to take off this cowl piece around the steering column, get in here, and then I know there's two Torx screws for each switch, and they just slide right out. So let's go ahead and get to it. Now this next part, you just lift this top part of it up, and then here's the two screws that are Torx. These are this is smaller Torx this time. We just unscrew these, and this switch will slide out, and we can slide in our new replacement switch. Okay, I just started the car up, and as you can see, I have an error here. And the reason for that is because I have already enabled everything I need to enable on Forescan to make the lane keep system work. Um, I will go ahead and put a little pop up here as well as a link down below so you can go and reference what codes you need to change um, or what lines you need to change in Forescan. And there's like three or four different modules you have to touch um, in order to get this to pop up. Now, once you do that, it should be here under driver assist, lane keep assist, and now I can actually adjust things. Now, if your camera is bad, it won't show up in Forescan. The IPMA module will not show up, and this menu here will be grayed out. Even if you have everything enabled, it will not actually allow you to do anything. It'll all just be gray. So. The other thing I still need to do is go into Forescan, and now we need to do a calibration. So let's see if we can make it work. All right, I do want to show as well, I have the sensor right here for the rain sensing wipers. And now if I am going to dump a little bit of water on it, the wipers kick on. So that's already functioning. We just have to do that calibration for the camera. Okay, right now I am doing the calibration on the car and you should be able to see down here. You can see the little icon there that has the lane markings and they're both green. Now I had to start the calibration from Forescan there and I just have to drive for about 10 minutes trying to keep relatively consistent speed. So I use cruise control and maintaining my center line here in the lane. So that is what I'm doing, and we will see how well it works when I'm done. Okay, I now have it functioning, and you can see again over here on the cluster that the system is engaged on aid only, and so right now I might lose my lines because the road is not the best, but 
should be able to see the steering wheel will move on its own. So I'm not, and it says keep hands on steering wheel, but I just want to show what it'll do. So if I engage with it, and I can press OK, ignore that, and now the steering wheel is going to pull me back into my lane all on its own. I did not touch it, and I don't know how well that really showed up, but again, it's warning me to put my hands back on the wheel. So the system is working. I spent about 15 minutes driving without trying to change lanes or do anything, and it is working. So I'm quite impressed. Uh, it's not perfect, but it does an okay job. It's kind of harsh, so like if I let it weave over, it it pulls it back, but it, it does. It's kind of like jolting. So, but I am very happy to say it is working. Now, the one thing I did have to do differently was well, not necessarily differently. I just needed to use the actual Forescan values in Forescan rather than just using the easy mode in order to get this to work. So, if you push the button and the little car does not show up on your screen, then you do have to go through and make sure that that's working because if it's not coming up when you press the button the system is not enabled so I hope this helps someone I'm pretty happy with it overall and it wasn't too bad of a install so hope you enjoy thanks for watching